Good. Look, I'm back at Mum's, and here she is, broken ankle mended, going down the stairs, holding on goodly, but very good. Woohoo! Well, look, behind me is Mum in the garden. We're back in Cumbria and we're going to have a look at her potting shed. But on the way, she's got to show me something. Hold on. Look, recently <gasps> invented flowering cabbage balls, as my son used to call them. Aren't they better? And they're purple open. Oh. Open. Things that you eat on Christmas Day, which are sour and bitter and horrible. These are just divine. They have been well eaten by um, some caterpillars and as each caterpillar produces a moth or a butterfly I left them and there's enough for, for us and them and then are you, do you, are they actually called Brussels sprouts mum they are called Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> I can never remember them I've never seen them. anything so immaculate would you look at this vegetable garden yes, do you remember the look, sweet peas they've all gone but look at the look at the seeds of the tropolium oh look aren't they fantastic Oh, yes, what they are hilarious. Colour. What a colour. And they've also jumped over the wall and they're coming up here. There we are. Oh, so yes. They're going to be on both sides next year. Yes. Oh, oh. joy. Right, Mum, we really want to see your potting yes, shed. Right, we're going to fix the potting shed. Yes, it is looking quite nice from here. Look, there's the... The greenhouse has still got tomatoes in it. Yes. And some incredibly strong... Um, Peppers, so take your breath away. And I'm going to show you my only nice plant, just on the way in. And then you can. Turn Here's around, the potting shed. Turn around and have a full view of the potting shed. Oh. And you can see the cuttings in the window. Oh, googie. What fun. It's as though you did it on purpose. <laughs> Just come and see my one beautiful, beautiful hydrangea. Humming, humming with bees. And my cousin is going to tell me the name of it when she's looked it up. We'll find out what it's called yes. and put it on the it's list. It's hydrangea, not petrolized, anything but that. Oh. But isn't it heaven? It is really, really good. Right, and then I turn round and look. Here is, secretly this garden is actually just a fairy grotto. And here is the fairy grotto potting shed. <laughs> Give me five minutes to open the lock because I didn't think we were going to do it today. There's something nice here and something nice there. Please look at. Look at this. So it's a little, like a little fairy shed, and it's covered in variegated ivy, which is flowering. Very good for the bees. So, so, and, and the and the door has been. Picked clean by the wasps. Of course. Who love it. And they just pick it all. Pick, 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 pick. They're it's, there all summer. And they make it into their honey. nests. No, it's into honey as well. They make it into. It's very sweet. Really? Yes. No, they make it into nests. Okay. It's you paper. Win. And inside. Look. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to show Mum so she can see how light this is. It's really attractive. Oh, it's very good. You see? Oh, fact, oh gosh, what a mess. Never no. mind. Please go towards my string collection. So, <laughs> here is the string collection. And my pot collection. And then the pot collection. This is the most immaculate. So, what Mum likes to do really a lot is just play housey housey. And my alternative pot, pot collection. The alternative pot collection. So, look at the cuttings. Oh, the cuttings. Oh, they're, yeah, the more pots. The, uh, the reason I haven't labelled the cuttings because I know jolly well what they are. Yes. And it's a waste of one, two, three, four, five, six things to to label them yes. when I don't care. Yes, but they're going to be very good. And, of course, the cuttings like to be put somewhere out of direct sunlight and they'll and just quietly take. very slightly humid in here. 
Yes, yes it's just so. right. So what else you have got? So all the your bucket, buckets with holes in the bottom, hanging from the ceiling. There's with a, whole... a huge collection of very very small pots in, for if you happen to grow, um, very very hot spiky plants with an occasional flowering, very occasional. What like a chili? No, no, like a spiky, spiky people. Oh, I know a yes. cactus. A cactus, cacti so in the unlikely cacti of... pots. And then you've got your enormous alliums hanging up to dry for Christmas. Yes. Will you spray them gold and hang them on your front door? No, I won't, because that'd be a terrible waste. And then I couldn't have them hanging back here. No, I like them here. Um, otherwise, I have quite sharp and less sharp and not sharp at all saws, it's, as to depending on which grandchild uses them. <laughs> And Luckily, your grandchildren are mostly old enough to be given a saw. Yes, and unfortunately, I'm missing a broom. The whole point of this potting shed is that you can see what you've got and when something's missing. And it's oh. obvious the broom is missing, and I will come upon it probably in the heat, in the fullness in the heat of time. Of something. But look, but also, are. so I like the. There's a basket of gloves. There are, there's somewhere for everything. What is this, what is all this wire down here? What's that for? Oh, that's, that's wire for, for, for putting, putting things up on or tying things down with. Okay. It's just wire. It's just okay. Wire. And this is, this is what I told you all about, about before, when you get your oil from a garage, when they've emptied the car. Yes. And these are the oily rags. And that's for cleaning all your tools. Yes. So you give nice. them a little rub before you put them away. But of course, you know, they are away. Therefore, they have been rubbed. Oh, God. I mean, look at the immaculateness, I have to say. Well, because no, the important thing is to see if there's something that should be there and isn't. When I have my dream, uh, I, I've got pl I got my planning permission. Oh, good. For my shed. So I'm going to have a new shed. Oh, good. And my shed is going to look like this <laughs> inside it. Well, I'll come and clean it out for you every now and again. I think it's really very immaculate. And then, uh, so then you've got all your old, I love the way that you've kept all all the tent pegs. Yes, of course many I've years. kept the tent pegs. So the tents have gone the but way But these are my favourite pegs. Look, somebody gave me tulip pegs. Oh, Aren't very... they divine? <laughs> do you ever use them or not? Yes, really? I do. Because they pin down, I have to put a a post in the middle with an old nappy around the bottom of it in the middle of the pond and then it why <laughs> so that it doesn't go through the plastic liner okay and then i pin the whole net which is made a very very fine net like this oh yes down with these right around the edge and so instead of looking hideous they look really rather jolly that's very attractive yeah, well it's much better than a lot of things I have to say, and then, so where did these lovely tiles come from that you well, made they, this they gorgeous table? They came from behind the arbor in my pre previous house. So you, <laughs> you chipped them off the wall? Yes, and broke most of them. And these are the very broken ones, so I used them in here, and the other ones went into the laundry room. That's very, very efficient. The and then, oh one. look, here's the crock. Yes. This is for when you need crock in the bottom of your pot. Yes. There's and the crock pot when department. When your garden health drops a pot, you don't sh scold her. You think, oh, good, there's more. Yes, oh, excellent, there's more. And uh, then a great many different sized snips. Oh, and look, just in case, just in case you run out of a hose in the end of your... <laughs> the spare How hoses. many roses do you 32 need? 32 years of spare hose. They don't fit on anything, but gosh, they they are, <laughs> they are nice. They are really hilarious. And that's, and that's a very, very good hammer. But your arm doesn't work very well the next day. No, that's the one for killing people with. Yes. No, we wouldn't do that. No, no, we wouldn't um, do that. But um, it's all together the most immaculate thing. I'm going to back out because then you can see this, dear watchers. It's my buckets are my favourite thing. Whenever I have even even a small, if it's tin, it's welcome into my box. Yes. If it's plastic, it's absolutely not. But can you imagine? Look at the and the you've even got a gothic window behind you. Well you can choose the windows. So I chose two square and a gothic. It's hilarious. It was put together, it came in eighty two pieces, numbered, and two young teenage just over teenagers 
boys put it together and they said it was the easiest thing to do in the world so you you order it from from devon devon yes and it came on a low loader in numbered 82 pieces and, and you then choose your own roof okay and you see here that is the electricity supply for one, this room? Yes, there is one 40 watt light bulb. There is one <laughs> Which doesn't give off a lot of light. No. But, you know, it's fine. So you order it and then you get a local builder to put it up. Two boys. Two boys. Very good. Nobbit lads. I think it's, I think it's, it's just uh, the most immaculate thing in the entire world. Good. Even, so, uh, even more immaculate than your house, which is pretty immaculate. Well, any look, on oh, look, look, even more pots all lined up and all pre-washed you'll note yes, every single plastic, one they shouldn't be in here yeah. they go put they get put in there clean nothing comes in here there's no point in putting it away been... dirty no look so clean don't lose it in a hurry oh i tell you what oh look oh look okay now i know there is no need to put any more string <laughs> in the christmas stocking yes, that's enough for the rest of my life i'm 80 83 in january I cannot possibly use that string. Yeah, I think you're all set but I must for string. Say, I'm afraid that every time I see that size string, I have to buy it. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not but surprised. actually, that size, you probably get through it. Yes. Don't you? It's well, quite I'm, a useful size, that I'm fat. I'm going through that one, and it's my third. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I think, Mum, this is the most beautiful potting shed I've ever seen. And look, if you want to, you can go and sit outside and admire in the distance the hydrangea. Oh, good. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it does look rather... It doesn't look like October. No, it is chill in the air, though. Are you glad you're wearing a vest? Very. I Me wouldn't too. be without it. <laughs> and it's a winter one. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Mum's little secret dingly dell in the garden. Um, she said it's the place where she can be as tidy as she likes without anybody telling her off for being too tidy. Um, anyway... If you've enjoyed this clip, please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more t clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks have been useful, you can always buy me a coffee. The coffee link is in the blurb to all my clips. Thanks very much for coming along. And isn't it good that mum is so improved? You would not know she broke her ankle at all.